What's up guys? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Rissa B. I believe the last video I posted was back in January and this is my first time recording a sit down, so it's probably January, December. So it's definitely been a while, so I just wanna take a quick second to catch you guys up on some things. At the end of January, I went to Germany for about a week for a work trip and then during that and shortly after I experienced multiple familial losses I was also occupied with school during this time and I was also doing a lot of things at work I just recently got a promotion within the last week or so just amongst other things so that is just a super super brief of what I've been up to I can do another video more in depth if you guys want but we're officially halfway through 2023 so let me know in the comments how these past couple of months have been going for you any good news accomplishments changes whatever you have feel free to leave it down below i'd love to hear all about it now that that's out of the way we can get into the subject of the video which is me going back to school as you can tell by the title i am back in school if you're new to this channel a brief background about myself i have a bachelor's degree in biology and in 2020 i got my first lab job working in biotechnology specifically with oncology liquid biopsy companies i'm currently at my third biotech company and it's been going great so far as been my whole experience working in biotech i'm going to make an updated video about my career journey so far so be on the lookout for that in the meantime i will attach my last update video on the screen and down below. So by the time that this video goes up, I will have been taking classes for a little while now. I started my first class in January and I'm currently enrolled in a biotechnology certificate program. Because I'm working full time and I want to keep up with other things in life, I normally take about one class at a time and I take them kind of sporadically. I just finished up my second class and the next class that I take will probably be in the fall since I will be traveling a little bit during the summer months so I don't want to be worried about trying to get schoolwork done and also trying to travel and meeting deadlines and being online for class and things like that. I decided to go with this program for a few reasons. As I mentioned earlier, all the companies I work at are biotechnology companies and I don't really see myself straying from the biotech area anytime soon, especially since Maryland is a pretty big biotech hub. So I just really wanted to expand my knowledge when it came specifically to biotechnology since I have a degree in general biology. If you saw the article that I posted a few months ago on my community tab, then you know that the particular area that I'm in currently is constantly and rapidly expanding in the biotechnology field as far as company, developments, technology, and the whole nine. So this is like the perfect area for me to kind of just stay in right now and just make sure I brush up on the skills that I need for to continue to grow. Biotechnology has so much going on in the field. There are so many developments, especially because like I said, the companies that I work for are typically focused on cancer and testing using the liquid biopsy. So there's always news in cancer progress, pharmaceuticals, clinical trials, etc. And I just find that so interesting. So I feel that investing in my knowledge regarding uh, technology will be something that will help me now and in the long run. It was also important for me to find a program that offered what I consider relevant classes and not like a lot of fluff classes. The program I'm in right now has classes in drug development, cancer biology, gene therapy, virology, NGS sequencing, I'm just sitting with you, but all of these are classes that I think are relevant to um, what I do now and even like what I've done previously. The program that I'm enrolled in can be finished in 12 to 24 months, but you have five years to complete the program from the day that you start your very first class. It's an online program with live courses, so even though the lectures are recorded, you have to log on via Zoom during the actual course time to get like attendance and participation points. It will likely take me about maybe like a year and a half to two years since I take classes sporadically, like I said, and then I'm also paying out of pocket and I don't want to overwhelm myself and take out any more debt or anything like that. So for me, the nice middle ground between my bachelor's and getting a master's degree, I'm not completely sold in investing in a master's degree just yet. So depending on how this program goes and what I want to accomplish in my career in the long run, or whatever the case may be, is what will determine if I eventually would like to go back and try and earn a master's degree. But for now, I'll be satisfied with earning a postgrad certificate. From my experience in this field and talking to many people working in this area, along with my personal experiences, I don't think a master's degree is absolutely necessary to advance in this field. 
I believe you can get very far with just a bachelor's degree, self-learning, and then like making the most out of the positions that you land in this field. So let me know if there's any specific type of content you would like to see when it comes to classes or have any questions. Leave them down below in the comments. If you've ever done a graduate certificate program, let me know how it went for you. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, especially with this long hiatus that I've been on. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.